Oh my god, I feel like he's looking like him already. Hey guys, welcome back to a new video on something new that I want to do for you guys, potentially on a weekly basis, because I enjoy doing it so much. I'm thinking of doing it every Monday. It's like a cast create sim, that is. Cast Mondays. Where it basically creates sims from like book series or TV series or movies that I like, that you guys like, and we make them in the sims and I'll upload them on the gallery so you guys can download them and you can let me know what you think of them. And the first one that I want to do is from a book series I absolutely love called um, A Court of Thorns and Roses. I'm not going to say any spoilers in this, I'm just going to be making three of my characters from it, three male characters who are absolutely amazing characters and I'm going to be basing them because it's a book and there's no pictures of them, they're not like uh, in a TV series in a movie. I am going to be basing them based on some artwork by a lady called Charlie Bowater who's done a lot of artwork for the series and she's actually done a lot that's been approved by the author of the series and got into colouring books and all that kind of thing. So I would say it's the closest you're going to get to those three characters. So the three characters I'm going to be making are Rysand, Azrael and Castiel from the... Castiel? That's not the right... That's a completely different series. Rysand, Azrael and Cassian from the Cause of Thorns and Roses series. They're all absolutely amazing characters. And I've been kind of putting this off because I'm almost scared to start making them. I am because I want to get them right. So we're going to start off with Ryzen. I've just realized I don't really know what his surname is. He doesn't really seem to have a surname. So I'm just going to call him the High Lord. And I'm also, I actually think I might base them off a character I've already made. So I at least get a nice male to start with. That's so weird. Where have all my old creations gone? I should have loads. Does stuff get taken down? That is literally so, so weird. I don't understand where like all of my families have gone. What the hell? Never mind. I'll have to start with little Ryland who's got a really similar name. Let's take all his clothes and tattoos and stuff off though. I'll give you a little bit of a background to this. So it's like a fantasy story where there are like humans and elves. <laughs> Actually, they're not elves. They're like fae. They're called the fae. Like fairies. And they live like across the border from the humans and they traditionally don't like each other. And our three main characters are from the very most north region, but they actually have kind of like darker skin tone. I would say something like this. Let me just see if I've got any pretty skin details to add to it. Ooh, see, these are quite good. That looks very real, very human-like. This one's always, f I found a little bit too makeup-y. That one I like a lot as well, but it's not very right. If you've read the book series, you're probably going, mm, I don't like that one. I do like that one. I don't like that. Hopefully you're agreeing with whichever one I decide on though. These ones are all like that. That If I saw a person in real life, I would literally think he was so ill. These ones are quite realistic looking as well. I'm not like in love with any of these skin coverings yet though. Oh wow, this guy looks quite ill as well. I keep like glancing over at the picture I've got of him on the side just to make sure it's looking similar. I think this one's quite good. But I think this one's probably the more realistic looking one. And it's definitely got like the cheekbones. Okay, I feel like we're on the right side. The right sign, the right sand. I don't even know what I'm saying. Okay, and then his other really distinguishing feature is he has purple eyes. I know, it's a lot to take in, but trust me, they look really cool. And then I kind of want to just give him some eyelashes and then we'll then we'll go into the facial features. But I like to get these little ones out the way first. Now he's going to have black hair, so I could probably go a little heavy on the eyelashes, but not too much. And then just, just because I'm just going to make his eyes brows black as well because he's gonna have black hair but i want to get his face sorted out first and i'm basing it on this one to the side here so he's got quite a strong jawline it's quite a manly man and he's got quite a strong nose as well like he ain't got no nose that's like he's got bald nose you know what i'm saying he's a pretty guy <laughs> he's definitely a pretty guy like, you can just Google Rysand to see, like, what I'm going for here. You can kind of get what I'm going for here. If you've read the book series, you'll probably enjoy this video. If not, you're probably going to be a little bit confused. But trust me, read the book series and then come back to this video and you'll be like, Yes, Rysand! <laughs> He's got, like, a stronger nose. Like, I wouldn't really ordinarily make a male sim with such a strong, like, nose. But trust me, he kind of... I don't, okay, that's a little bit too much. He kind of pulls it off. Oh my god, I feel like he's looking like him already. I don't feel like his lips are quite as poofy as that. He's got slightly smaller lips. It's quite serious, you know, quite serious. He's got a lot on his shoulders. If you've watched it, you understand. He's got quite a lot on his plate, you guys. There's a lot going on. He's looking good so far. As soon as I moved the eyebrows down, I was like, yes, 
It's looking right, it's looking right. Okay, then the other thing I need to instantly change. Oh my gosh, how much does it look like him already? I'm really excited. I'm really, really excited. Okay, the other thing that's really different, and I think it's going to be under hearts, I think I downloaded it, is the ears. I need to change the ears. I need to make sure that they fit on top of the ears that, I'm, that are already there. I think that's how... They are just kind of going on, and they are really big. Oh no. I kind of can't get out of this now, because I've already given him the ears. So like, how am I going to fix this? Because I don't think I can give him, like... I can't change his ears as a human, I don't think. I can't make the Melfi just like this, can I? No, I can't. Damn it. I don't like the, I don't like the ears I've downloaded, guys. I don't like the ears that I've downloaded. Maybe I could cover them with this hat. I like that hat. Yeah, I've got a lot of fantasy stuff, so I may have elf ears somewhere else. Oh, see, they're even bigger. <laughs> No. Okay, I'm gonna keep them on him for now. Maybe they'll grow on me. But I feel like they should be so much closer to his head. And not as big as that. I feel like they're quite subtle. Whereas these ones are definitely not that subtle, are they? Maybe I'll lose them just for now. We may revisit them. Let's look at the hair. Because I had some hair in mind for him. But I've got quite a few. So this, this was like my original hair thoughts. I don't know if it's a bit too much hair. Oh man, I need anyone who's also a fan of this. Who's like watching to help me out. I want to make sure I get it right. I have a lot of male hair. Like, a lot of male hair. Too short. It's too short, that one. Okay. I Okay, that's the kind of hair I'm thinking. That is definitely the kind of hair I'm thinking. And then in the picture, I'm seeing he's clean shaven. He is a little bit clean shaven. But I kind of want to give him facial hair. <laughs> I also need to make him quite muscular. But not overly muscular. He's like the in-between. Oh, that's making him fat, isn't it? Okay. I'm going to push his chest out a little bit and pull this in a little bit. This is fun. I'm making my own vice sand. I don't know whether this is giving him just a little lip shine. Like, he's got a little bit of vase on there. I think that looks... I think it looks better, okay? Don't laugh at me for putting Vaseline on him. Vaseline. See, these are the ears that I need. Those little ones there are the ears that I need. Man, I like adding eye bags to my sims. Just because I feel like it makes them look more human. But you naturally do have, like, stuff going on under here. So I like to do it. Okay, I'm really sad that I hate the ears too much. I don't hate them, they're just, they're just too big for what we're trying to do here, which is a little bit of a shame. They just don't look very natural, I don't think. I'm tempted to leave them, but I just can't, they just don't look right. Okay, so I spent a long time trying to find the outfits that would go, and honestly, it's really, really hard, because there's nothing that really looks quite like what they wear in the show but i in the show in the books i kind of decided on this as like the closest thing which is kind of like the tunicky sort of thing that they wear in the night court i like it sounds like i'm being really obsessive about these books you have to read them you have to read the books and then you will understand you guys okay there's a lot to be obsessed over in these books you will fall in love with some of the characters it'll be beautiful you'll enjoy it do it just persevere to the end of book one because that's when it actually gets good okay so i've just given him some little <laughs> They're all kind of strange black shoes, if I'm being totally honest. But I can't find anything that's quite what I want. Maybe just... Yeah, I think... <laughs> I hate them all. What about these little fancy ones? They're, they're quite fancy in the night court, you know. Maybe just like that. Why can't they just be all black? I'm gonna go for some little fancies, okay? And then I'm just gonna not look at them. There, they're done, okay? And then the other thing that I've got, if it's on here, what one was it in? Um, oh man, I can't remember which one it will have been in. It wasn't those little ones. It was big, full on, real life, real life wings. But I can't remember what I added it. Okay, so <laughs> I went back and got the wings. But I also got some new skins to try. It's called Snow Elf Skin. I think it's gonna be way too light though. Oh my god, it's gorgeous, but how light? How light is it? Oh my god, it is the most beautiful skin I've ever seen though. Too light, too light I'm afraid. Although now he looks a really weird color. No. <laughs> <laughs> now I don't like him anymore. I love that one, but it just looks so pasty. But the detail in around the eyes is so nice. We have to look so pasty, Alpha Skin. I'm spending so long on this. <laughs> I can't help it. These ones just look so like ethereal. They looks like a like he is an elf or something. I know he's a fae, but still, he just looks unhuman. And I like that, because he's meant to be unhuman. Okay, I've settled somewhere in between, I think. Sorry, I know I'm taking ages, but I want to get him right. I get really obsessive about this stuff. Okay, I should be able to change the ears. Yes, I can change his ears. Okay, the slight but not extreme is what I'm thinking. And more flat to his head. That is exactly what I wanted to do. Thank you, modding community. Thank you very much. So there we go. He's retaining a little bit of elfishness without being like elfish ears. Fainess without it being like totally in your face. And I also remembered 
He is meant to have tattoos. Look, see, like tribally tattoos. I looked at that picture, then I was like, I need to buff him out a little bit, don't I? Oh no, the skin goes over the tattoos. No! Oh, I can't give him tattoos, you guys, because they the only ones that I could give him would be on his hands. They're meant to be like here. So no tattoos, I'm afraid. I was just kind of just checking what other options we had for his main clothes. Not not though. It's not though. Oh, that one. No, no, no. Just like his day kind of clothes. Making sure I've definitely got the right one. Because I do have some others. They're sort of weird though. But probably... I don't know. It's a fantasy book. No, I can go a little bit weird. No one's gonna cry about that. No. <laughs> Although I like that. Maybe like that. Oh, That. Oh, That. I don't know. It's hard. I think that one. I'm gonna leave him in that one. Okay! Rizand is done! Rizand is literally done. He's meant to be a chief of mystic who is romantic and chat. I wouldn't say he's child. I don't care about those so much. It's how they look. So Rizand is done. I think he looks pretty badass. We'll move on to the other two now. I'm gonna play with genetics and make them look like they're brothers of his, but they're not actually gonna be his brothers. But they all look so similar that you kind of have to. Okay, because it's gone for like a slimmer build, we'll do Azriel next. Azriel is like this. Oh! Oh my gosh, I forgot something really big for you guys. Um, did I definitely add it? Although, technically he doesn't need to have it. Okay, I'm not gonna do it for Rysand. You'll see what I mean in a minute, but basically they all have wings. Um, but he won't need them because he can hide his. I don't want to say any more than that. So the other brothers actually don't have purple eyes. It's just, they're not brothers, that's why. They're not related at all. They, <laughs> the other two don't have purple eyes. They have like really pretty, like ambery kind of eyes. I'm just looking at my little reference photo for the right color. I'm kind of thinking that, I think that kind of an eye. I want to take off that ridiculous facial hair. There we go. And then it's, it's probably my favorite of all of them which is Azriel. I just think he seems really sweet. <laughs> and I see a lot of him kind of drawn with the, like the floof hair thing going over, which looks really weird, like really weird with those kind of eyebrows. So I'm gonna work on some different eyebrows for him. I go for those ones for everyone. I think they're like my new fave eyebrows, but I probably need to mix it up a little bit. See, these ones are quite nice too. I can't take him seriously and like, mortal clothes, take those off. So he's definitely a lot slimmer, but they're all muscular, but he's just slimmer. He's like quite skinny. He's littler than the other two guys for sure. And he's He's described as the most traditionally good looking. So that's kind of what we need to go for. Okay, so I've done a lot of messing with his nose. I think he's got more of a traditional nose. He's got a bit of a bump in the middle, which I sometimes seem to cause with my sims, but I'm not really sure what I'm doing when that happens. He's quite serious. So I'm putting his, his little mouth parts back down again. I'm not sure on his hair. I might change his hair up to that hair instead. I'm looking at the picture at the side of me and it's more similar. <laughs> That's basically the only reason why. Or this one. But I don't think he'd shave it. He's also crying out for some eyelashes. Crying out for them. Okay, I think... Are they looking just like exactly the same as each other? Okay, no. They definitely look a little bit different to each other. Which is what I was going for, so I'm happy about that. I think he looks really cute. <laughs> Let's give him his little elfy ears. I'm sure he has them. In the picture, I'm... Oh my god. No. <laughs> In the picture, I'm looking at he doesn't, but I think that's one error, because they're all meant to. They're all meant to. I'm sure they are. <laughs> He's also got loads of tattoos that I'm not going to be able to give him, because they're not going to show through. And then I kind of like those lips, because it almost looks like the teeth are showing through a tiny bit. Although now I'll put them on. No, I like the old ones more. Okay. I think that's Azriel looking pretty good. I think so anyway. I now don't know if they're all a bit pale. Okay, I've, I've made them all a little bit darker because I think they're meant to be. I feel like they're meant to be. And then, where is my thing? <gasps> okay, so it looks a bit crazy, but trust me, he's meant to have them, okay? He's also meant to have shadows all around him. And I can't do that, can I? So, okay. <laughs> I know it's kind of weird. Am I? Is his legs tiny? The thing is, he's got skin tights on, so obviously his legs are gonna look really small. <laughs> For God's sake, Claire. Okay, they're a bit less skin tight. But there, I think I think he's done as well. So that's Azriel, the spy master. He's another character. Oh, oh, he's got a really high voice. Okay, he's got a lower voice now. So I think he cares about love, finding his soulmate. Um, I think that he is gloomy. <laughs> I think that he loves the outdoors. Oh, that's a pose pack. I forgot about that. So he's posing for you guys now. And I think these are a bit of a loader. Oh, that's another pose pack, but it's a really weird one. Okay. By the way, I gave Rice and uh, friend of the world, gregarious, romantic, ambitious, and good. Okay, now we are all, we've got two out the way. We're on to our final one, which is Cassian. Okay, so we're going to create his brother. 
um, of Azrael just because it's easier. And I randomly made this one, so I think it's quite a good one to start on. Look at his tiny, skinny eyebrows. Okay, so the hair on this one's super easy. Because it's the man bun. He has his hair tied back into a man bun. I have a- the thing is, I, I do have a few different ones. So I have, like, that one, which I don't think's right. Can I take that stupid facial hair off again? I, the eyebrows are kind of bugging me as well. And I have that one, but I think- I, I honestly think it's all of his hair's long. I don't think he shaves the sides. I think it's more like that. And all the hair's black. I like that it keeps the same skin tone because that makes things a lot easier. And then this guy is a lot bigger than the other two. He's pretty huge. So it needs to be like this. He suddenly went for pow. And I need to like, like, how do you do the shoulder muscles? Like, there's meant to be muscles here that you can pull out instead of just everlastingly pulling out his, uh... I should be able to make these pop off, not just doing this forever. Okay, so he's looking pretty huge. <laughs> <laughs> Which is right. That's how we should be. I don't want to find an eyebrow with like a scar running through it But I don't think I've got any although they're kind of I think they're quite right for him Why are they why are they so low so low eyebrows? Which ones did we say we liked were they those ones or were they another one? I always do this. I always do this. Oh my god. Look at those big things See these ones have a scar in it, but they're also like insanely big and kind of scary looking. Oh, they look okay from afar Ooh. He doesn't like a warrior. How do they look compared to like his? So he looks so much more real. He looks a bit silly with those eyebrows. I'm gonna have to change them. Although I like the scar. Okay, so I'm gonna keep those eyebrows because I just want him to have a scar and look kind of like battle scarred. So he's definitely a little bit happier looking than Azriel is. <laughs> so I'm gonna put his mouth back up again. Although he looks a bit overly smiley now, maybe. My God, that's him when he I wanted to put the little corners of his mouth on, but it takes off all his skin details. <laughs> look at the difference. Give him some little lashes. And then I need to just differentiate his face a little bit more. I'll try and make him look a little bit more like chiseled. I think that's a good way to differentiate him a little bit. Okay, I think we're starting to get there on him. We're definitely at least getting close. I kind of feel like if any of them should have a little bit of fuzz, it should probably be him. I don't know, I think he looks pretty good. He kind of, it's how I imagine Cassian to look, I think. Now we must clear him. He gets the one that we haven't used so far, which is that one. I searched like literally high and low for armor. It really bugs me that I couldn't find any. Okay, they're good. Damn, I really wish I had armor because I don't like that top, but I'm so sorry you guys. I don't. I don't have anything. I searched so, so long for armor, like so long. There's loads for Sims 3 and like Sims Medieval, but there is nothing for Sims 4. Okay, so I think we're done with him as well. Oh, he's missing one thing. I'm sorry, friendo. You do need them. Actually, I kind of feel like Cassian would have some badass piercings, so I'm gonna give him some piercings as well. But also, where are your wings gone? Why do I always forget where these wings are? You've got them on. Oh, he's so pretty. <laughs> he's so pretty. There they are. He needs his wings, you guys. And also, he needs his elf ears. Fey ears, sorry, I need to stop calling them elves. They're not elves, I know. Oh, how cool do the piercings look on the elf ears, by the way? There we go, another one done, Cassian. He is athletic, he is bodybuilder-like, active, cheerful, and a goofball. There you go, so there is little Cassian as well. So all three of them, we've got Rysand with his purple eyes. I think his face is pretty similar to the artwork I'm looking at right now. And we've got obvious fave, Azriel, obvs, obvs, obvs. And then we've got Cassian too. Let me know if you've read the books, what you think of them, if they look how you expected them to look. Have I done a good job or not? And also, if you haven't read the books, let me know if this makes you want to read them. Because these guys are involved a lot. And they're all wonderful. They are all just wonderful. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this. I am gonna save this little household. Oh my god, look at the wings cover in his face. Try again. No. <laughs> <laughs> I can't, if I learn it's the gallery, you're not going to be able to see them. Because the wings are just constantly covering his poor little rice out of the middle. He's like, hello? Can I not? Can I not get in this picture? Look, he's there. That's the closest I can get. So you've got rice sand. You've got sad little Ezreal. And you've got cocky Cassian. Literally, it's nailed all three of them in the portraits there. So if you guys want me to upload that to the gallery, let me know and I'll leave a link in the description below. Hopefully you have enjoyed this video. Making the characters from A Court of Thorns and Roses. If you want to see me make the girls from A Court of Thorns and Roses as well, let me know in the comments below or any other TV characters you guys want to see me make. I love doing this. It's really fun. Thank you for watching my video all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you guys in another Class Monday video. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Bye.